Hey, and welcome back to Cud Buds with Galen. Don't start. Why not? Oh my god. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Cud Buds with Galen. Wait, I mean with Aaron. Wait, I mean with Big Simple. Yo. Shoot. Okay, no, you do it. Uh. Na 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 leader. That's fun for me because Discord clips you every time. That's very strange. So it just sounds like da na 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 lee. <laughs> and then it stops every time. Lee. <clears throat> Cut buds. Here we are. We did We're it. We're going to find the thing. We're going to find the thing. All right. Let's. right. We're just heading west. And we're talking about Batman. What's your favorite Batman? Um, The one voiced by Diedrich Bader. Who? Do you ever watch the Drew Carey show? I did. You know the guy who isn't Ryan Stiles? Yes. That's Diedrich Bader. Okay. I'm uh, anticipating a legendary baboon on your left side there. Get ready for that. Oh, no. That's fine. We can mow them not down. Him. It's not You can always tell something is legendary because it's pink. FYI. That's just true to life. It's true. I mean, I, I feel a little pinkish. I'm getting there. Oh. Oh. Pop, pop. Oops. Well, might as well finish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I might have been wrong. There's just a lot of baboons on the screen. Um, legendaries tend to hang out with like a lot of creatures of their kin, you know? Like, so a uh, glow white, for instance, will hang out with a bunch of glow whites. Hence why they you love have to a posse. I get it. They love a posse. Exactly. So when I see a group of baboons like that, I usually anticipate that there will be a legendary. Why are you running? <laughs> they don't like what you're doing. Is I supposed to explore this page or just keep going? You just keep going. We've already spent so much time on this stupid quest. Now this is this is the very definition of a sunken you know cost fallacy, and that is like you know nail on head exactly why I don't like this quest. It's because like as soon as I start, I'm I know I've already spent more time looking than I should really bother. Cannibals. Get him, doggy. Cannibals. We can't a Is that something? Hmm. Didn't love it. <laughs> I can't. Re uh, unfortunately, I can't remember his name right now. But the guy who voiced um, the animated series Batman is probably my favorite. Yeah, he was good. That's just the voice of Batman for me. I can, like I can't imagine anyone else. You know what? George Clooney. There you go. <laughs> spoilers. He's back, baby. Is he back? That's the uh, spoilers for the Flash, I guess. Oh. This terrible, terrible Flash movie. Well, it, it, didn't they do like every Batman though? No, they did CG every Superman essentially. I don't think it was uh, George Clooney. I thought it was. Um, was isn't it Kevin Conroy? No. Well, it's... no. Uh, okay. First of all, Kevin Conroy is the Batman you were you were thinking of. Oh. Um, uh, Michael Keaton is Michael the main Keaton. one they brought back. Yeah, I, I then, saw that. Again, spoilers for the bad Flash movie. Um, I don't think anyone after cares. he thinks he's after he thinks he's fixed it, he gets a call from Bruce Wayne who pulls up in his car and says, "I'm going to be right there," and then thinking it's going to be Ben Affleck. It's not. It's George Clooney, but with a beard. Uh, and he goes, what? And then the movie ends. Oh, that's like the end of the movie. That's the end of the movie. The end of the movie is you still, you're still wrong. Wow. Um, you just found one of the nicest things in Caves of Code of all time. Oh, shoot. There was a thing on the ground there, too. I got to go back. I guarantee that this will beat it by a hundredfold. 
Rust fogs go, are I'm, so good. I'm gonna go get the. I'm gonna go get, you can the, go get the thing. Go get the thing. Just go get it. That's probably things. a. It's probably a mine. It's probably a grenade. Either way, it's a good time. Get. Oh, there's a little. I yeah. like here that you refuse to do the thing where you stand on it and press the get key. I did it once and then it was bad, so I'll never do it again. When was it bad? It was just one thing and I picked it up and you're like, you don't need that. And I said, oh, no. Right. And then we made, we turned on the settings that would make it sure that you never did that again. I guess. Um, staffs, are they cool? Uh, no, they're not magic. I'm sorry. <laughs> they're just sticks in this universe. They're not like sticks your cool magic stick in D&D. Uh, &D. Okay, so I'm you're a little disappointed in this game's uh, apparently... Well, I, you said I, we can mod things. Could I make it a cool stick? Um, like we can, we can modify something to be cool. Yeah. So can I um, make a magic staff? Can we look at your skills for a moment? Hold on. Yeah. I mean, you feel free to kill everything. On What's the that trident? Uh, I think it's a tr What's trident. That? What's that? Uh, oh, you know what? It's probably a, a vine wafer like farming tool. Pretty sure it's a farming tool. You can use it as a as a weapon though. Iron Vine Reaper. There you go. Rusted. It is rusted, so it's not even worthwhile right now. And roof. All right. What trencher? Um, those snapjaws were fighting each other. That's kind of odd. They're mad about the treasure. Razor. I really would love to just be better at shooting. Uh, we could uh, maybe put some points in agility. I think you do have an um, attribute point to spend. I do. I'm gonna go check out this box first. Yeah, I mean, this you're gonna want to do an auto explore on this screen, even if you've already explored everything, because there's a bunch of corpses that you're gonna want to check out. A trinket and an artifact? Yes, please. I've been having such a hard time with kudzu lately. My god, your third pair of mechanical wings. They want me to fly, baby. Yo, I mean, I guess you are Bavat Man. I am Bavat Man. You might want to set magnetized boots to disassemble or treat them as scrap. Big S. Yeah, big S. Mmm. <laughs> what was the yummy sound? I have to press a small M. Mm. All right, skills. Yeah. E. 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 Yeah. Um. All right, let's have a look. Did I make you take customs and folklore yet? No, I haven't. But no, you I'm don't have using... enough for trash divining yet. So never mind. I think you have scavenging though, right? Ooh, what's that under? Tinkering. La 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 la. Gadget inspector, dissemble. You don't First have scavenger. Scavenger. I recommend you grab scavenger. Whenever I step over garbage, you astutely rifle through it and occasionally discover scrap. Additionally, you harvest it to destroy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> don't Minecraft villager me. <laughs> 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 that was a witch. <laughs> Listen, sometimes you gotta practice because you're running Minecraft D&D. &D. There you go. Um, you don't have to grab it. Let me. But look, there's, let there's... me look, I I do I do my two things are tinkering and distance. So let me let me look at my.
So these don't make me hit better. They just make it more effective if I do a, a cool hit. Yeah. Um, if you mark someone, then you those become available to you as uh, as kind of like buffs and debuffs. Like uh, you can have a look at them. Like they all do something different. Just sure fired. Yeah. Fire the Merc with no accuracy penalty. That sounds good. Yeah, it does take two turns to do though. So keep that in mind. Mm. But um it's a it's a good one. You you would have enough for that in scavenging. I didn't mean to do that. Do I have You know you have no. no attribute points. I thought you did. I guess you got one plus one I... attributes to all of your things. That checks out. All right. Um. Oh, you know what else we need to do after we solve this? What's up? We need to go back to Jopa. Why is that? Because someone in the comments oh, yeah. said we should have rifled through his box. I actually did that in my series because I uh, I didn't know that. I straight up, it was like something I straight up did not know. You can just take our guy of stuff. You didn't take scavenging. It was like no, I didn't. The, were you gonna? Uh, maybe? The reason I brought it up is because there's a lot of trash on the screen. All right, all right, all right, okay, all right, all right, I, I accept. Accept your premise. The tinkering is on my list of the two things I want to buff. It's a, it's a passive uh, that will very slowly accrue you some more useful bits. So yeah, auto explore will now like automatically have your dude check stuff or uh, you know check the trash piles. You can see them doing that. I feel like there is an option somewhere that make suppresses that um, dialogue. By the way, so you don't have to keep pressing OK. Uh, cool. Hind bone of a salt hopper was scorched clean and bent to a recurve bone. Uh, this painted scene has a scene from the life of a Sultan Darl while visiting an obscure workshop. Darl should met with a group of window makers and commissioned a shield that evoked the presence of a jeweled jewel. <laughs> ah, a jewel jewel named Julika. Shut up. You know what, Caves of Cud? Shut up. That's dumb, and you should feel dumb. Julika. Ah, my jewel jewel. Julika. You found a copper nugget. Julika. A bandage. Heck yeah. Bronze dagger. Now I'm an eco warrior. I'm just cleaning up the cleaning up the streets. Someone had a witchwood wreath, so you um you dis you turned it into witchwood bark. Love that. That for me. I actually didn't know that that was a thing you could do. That which would wreaths were actual, actually which which would bark that you could harvest into a freebie. <laughs> You're really mad at that kudzu. As you should. I'm trying to do something. You know. Cleaning up the streets. Beep, boop, bop. Nice. We've done it. So let's, um, you should have a bunch of artifacts on you because the rust bog, generally speaking, has a lot of cool artifacts. Let's check some of those out. One of those is 12 pounds, so it's going to be interesting. Let's do the interesting one. Pump shotgun. A pump shotgun. Heck yeah. Is that better than my gun? Um, it's not a bow or rifle, so it does not synergize with your current build. But I have Mother. I have heard that it is actually pretty good. I'm quite interested in mm. EMP grenades are good. Ba, ba, ba. A slender Slend wristband. Nice. Can be good. Oh, it's got a different. It does nothing. It got a new tile. 
Um, that's not true. Oh. It, um, if, it, the wristband, it does exactly what it sounds like. A miniature airfoil blade spin on the circular face and blows gentle air. 25% per turn to repel gases near its wielder or wearer. Provides a small amount of cooling, non-functional. Slender. This item weighs less than normal. There you go. Can I put a battery in it? Yeah, you absolutely can. You could wear it. Hmm. You only have the one chem cell. <laughs> there is a uh, chem cell in that stun rod you could take out, and I don't think it's rusted. Is this? But this chem cell is not being used, right? Yeah, that's not. That one's not being used. But you have another chem cell that you're not using. Is really all I mean. And I should equip this on my uh other arm. Oh, wait, I guess that would mean disassent or unequipping your steel buckler. What was Wally -E again? Oh, I, I think it's a remember. structural, it's a structural bracelet. Mm. A structural scanning bracelet. Yeah, I think the, the, the fan's better. What if I put a combustion cell? The, it doesn't have any oil. You need oil to power it. Oh. So is that... Uh, whatever. Um, Figure that out later. Oh my god. You found a nuclear cell. And it's full. Oh my god. So I should scrap it is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, there's there's an argument to be made towards scrapping it, um, but uh, I'd say keep it for now, until you have something really good that takes advantage, like needs power. Like Wally. Like well, I mean, needs power, not like a double A. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, rust bugs are generally a bit more interesting, but uh, a nuclear cell is a good find. So we're still headed west. I can't believe how long we've been on this quest. Rust shrouded desert canyon. An interesting one. Godzilla, uh, come on, dude. Crunch, smack. I like how you are, like, very determined to keep going in, like, the one direction. So if there's a kudzu in the way, you have to make sure you kill it. This happened. I don't know. I think something shot at you, maybe? Ugh. More desert canyon. More friends. More vine spitters. Seed spitter vines. Sorry. Miss three times and then you crit it, crit it six times. Ooh, a legendary. That's a good one. No, well, you should check its reputation before you kill it. Oh. I'm sorry. I gotta be. Yeah. Um, admired by the Merchants Guild is kind of a bummer. I'm not gonna lie. Can I just not kill it? You can definitely just not kill it. But the problem is we have to get around this tile. We have to we have to get around not killing them. <laughs> I mean, this is definitely a method. 
Um, they are kind of hacking away at you. And they will follow you into that next tile. But I've discovered Alamu Sagatal. You did discover that. I do worry that maybe in that previous tile was actually the Snapjaw uh, camp. A pony. Those are Equimax. This is this is very silly. <laughs> yeah. Come on, squirm up a salb. What if I keep trying? No, it doesn't work. Can I just You can kill him if you want. Let's daze him and then Oh, he doesn't stay dazed. No, they don't stay stunned forever. You, you can kill him if you want. I, I I know it's a pain in the butt. But I love the merchant guild, probably. I I I don't know. I think we're probably on okay terms with them, so we can afford to lose some rep with them. But it does it is it does kind of suck. Ooh, never mind. We were on neutral ground with them. Uh, that does, that's not going to mean that we are on bad terms with them, but it will mean their prices go up. So yeah, I just like, um, I'm just worried that, I mean, probably it's not on this tile wouldn't it say or do i have to literally it's, find it snapjaw camps are like not i don't know if they're notable enough i think they're probably like they're generally big enough that you can see them but sometimes they are actually kind of tucked away um but now we can we can continue heading west what we should do is um like go to the overworld and see where we are how far away from the uh, forgotten ruins we are i'm just gonna i'm gonna kill this thing <laughs> nice just do a little auto explore why not why not And a stun rod. We should set do, those to do, treat those do, as scrap. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, no. There's no, there's no scrap jaw. Or, um, what did I say? Hold snap on. Jaw? I'm not done looking yet. <laughs> there you go. All right. Let's have a quick look at the overworld. Hold on. So yeah, you yeah. want me to scrap? Stun rod, should I take this chem cell out first? Um, I think if you disassemble the stun rod, it will take it out first. I think it did. It's hard to tell, but you have to look in your cells. Um, you'll have to do that. Disassemble that one by hand. All right. Yeah, I think it did. Okay, um, so you still technically have at least a parasang and a little bit left to go before we have to worry that we may somehow missed it, but I don't think we did miss it. We're in the northwest, so that means we have three more tiles to find this snapjaw camp you're famished i'm hungry oh i'm inspired though let's make we, camp we never toasted oh i want to thank well. all my friends and family and mm -hmm. and uh the pope and the mechanimus church the giant worm head and the barathermites Notably Q-Girl, because it will make a lot of people mad. 
at me. Mm, any any uh, dedication sense. you want to make? I want to thank Antidote, uh, <laughs> one through three. Good lads. Keeping me, keeping me honest. Keeping me honest. Spicy pig. Mmm. Mmm. Whenever you're set on fire, you heal to a full 15% of the time. There's actually a really good one there. Um. Is this one, Is it this one? I, I'm actually seeing that the one in the middle, whenever you take damage, is a 10% chance you emit a ray of flame per flaming hands at level 5 to 6 is quite powerful like you that's even if you take one damage right so it's like something's yeah. hitting smacking you for little chunks you could just torch it by accident little fire rebuke thing yeah ah. i might actually have to well, that amends dry the sear the meatballs write from it down in your recipe book from ikea mm. mm -hmm. but it would be like ikea with several h's and maybe a j Hmm. All right. Onward. Westward. West hole. East. I hole. I thought you said west. 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 Hey, ponies. Oh, those boots. are some more magnetized boots. You will probably get some more bits for those. Indeed, they were. Indeed, they were. We got some graffiti. That they are pinkish wall. What what manner? And so, while visions of colored polyps bright the village over. Do you wanna do you wanna read a book? In Cud, you want to see what a book in, in Caves of Cud looks like? Do I want to read a book? Yeah. Uh, I guess so. Let's have a look at that. I think you will appreciate it. E. E. Let's pick, pick out a nice see. book. <laughs> Interpretation of evidence. There you go. <clears throat> Thank you for a mammalian psyche. Assuming one would obliterate the ego in mere moments, but a tenth as long as they stretched over air back, checking the security of its neighbors and guides them to insert themselves into being. Artifacts and so on, as many ethers. In fact, the door is the condition of its variations and combinations. Is an orifice studded with hooked teeth, eternally questing for an agrarian. People like the first to be a kind of orb. Herb. Of course, I'd long since waned in the daily Bela. Anytime. The engraving is done, Moloch. I do is sin, but then your sparring axe blades parts to swirling gas clouds. You are skilled with axes. Was the whole complex was aided in its gigantic shadow, and metal comes screeching to genuflect as its destination? I think. May I explain? I don't even like bananas. We were close. The thought itself is absolutely simple. There is only a smooth grace. An aura of a man did not meet the crook of Shava Slim. A pinkish tint creeps in. You will need to prove your worth that you opened my eyes. Why, Moon King? And across the ground. Oh. Though her bubbly green strands are but poor farmers, and sharp enough vine reapers is all expressed by means of obtaining information, you may... Next page. <laughs> be of interest to a state of perpetual calcification, you earn a mutation score of one. Such rings formed in Neville for the better. Why not take his own building surrounded by a thick coal fog? It's a luminous toadstool coated in hoarfrost. You've arrayed yourself in the east. He observed a strange and beautiful carry on the mount above Amund Park. The put us amber lie in a few gerams of primordial amber. Presses of auburn hair string from their surfaces, bitten by acid water into the box, so as to form tiny mouths that tessellate the path. 
who is too furby even in then in all haze the temperature is a measurement of how much its inhabitants strive for a battery to juice the magnets the thought which generates such a great magma crab as it is they have done could i i could have move i could move nations it is obvious that if time and efforts punishing further researches constructed sister systems with alternate axioms safe sight at your passage moon king the question isn't why I left, but why you're not of nightmares. Sportsmen are livingly aware right, uh, hold, of the hold on, hold on. Yes? I think, I think, I think the bit is good. I need to know how it ends. We'll just flip to the last. The last page is blank. <laughs> That's for notes. <laughs> That's I for notes. I can't help but like him and brushed mail hanging across her crooked spine and sent Sally and jaw. Oh, now I need how we got there, though. It's like so a, you don't want to do a series where I just sit in front of a fire and read uh, cud books in all uh, seriousness, smoking my my uh, fabulous pipe while wearing a satin robe. I, 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 I'm down. We can call it Caves of Book and it's just B-U-K. Mm. Book, book talk. Book talk. Book buds. Book buds. Guzzle buddies. Cud. Nope. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, that ain't gonna, it. We're that gonna, ain't it, gang. We're going to end the episode here. How about that one? And always remember, has this slint situation been settled yet? I did not consider my heart. I didn't. I didn't either. I didn't consider it. All right. That's pretty good. I appreciated that. All of that. Um... If you're enjoying the series, hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more of this. Not m this specifically, but, you know. Just books. The next episode is going to be just books. Just books. See you guys next time. Bye.